Okay, so a week from today, we will have a front row seat to an mm -hmm. awe-inspiring event. We're talking about the total solar eclipse. So in New York City, the sun will only be 90% covered, but if you're willing to travel upstate, you, you could be directly in the path of totality. Our wellness expert Jennifer Walsh is here to help us with some ideas on where to go to see this truly rare event. Welcome to the show, Jennifer. For the best views, you have to go north and west. Uh, yeah. tell, <laughs> tell us about what's going on in Syracuse. Oh my gosh, you're absolutely right. I mean, New York State is so full of so many great events happening, but Syracuse is really one of the biggest places. And there are so many events happening. So in Syracuse, there's NBT Bank Stadium. They're having a whole afternoon of activities. They had the planetarium going on with shows all about eclipses. The Museum of Science and Technology have a festival downtown. You can check that out going to most.org. There's so many things happening. Get free glasses, food trucks, and so much more. Okay, so Jennifer, you say one of the top spots in the world is Lake Erie, that area? I know. I mean, it's incredible. I mean, this totality thing is really, really cool. And so when you go to Lake Erie, uh, Chautauqua region, there's so much happening that you can actually go to tourchautauqua.com. The website was created because there's so much happening mm. specifically in this area from the nature preserves to the vineyards to um, tap houses and lighthouses and more like that. The entire town is all about the solar eclipse. So definitely worth checking out tourchautauqua.com. Yeah, and Chautauqua is by far one of the most beautiful beautiful towns in, in this yes. state. And also my other big favorite <laughs> kind of rivals is Lake Placid and they're planning uh. to party like it's 1999. Uh, yeah, they are. They definitely are. I mean, the whole town, again, there's so much happening. But this is so beautiful because there's a beautiful place called High Peaks Resort. Mm -hmm. So High Peaks Resort is right there on Lake Placid. And they have a whole afternoon on the property just with food trucks again and education and entertainment. So bring the whole family. I'm not sure if there's any room available there still, oh. but it's a beautiful place to be, especially right now. Or I should say April 8th for the, uh, the eclipse. Okay, so our last viewing spot is actually Candace's and Chris's old stomping grounds, mm -hmm. Rochester. There what do you have going on there? Rochester is throwing out the biggest party of all. Talk about like a four day extravaganza. Oh. I call it the eclipse red carpet because <laughs> there's so much happening. It's really cool. They actually have Rock the Eclipse Party hosted by the Rochester Museum. The museum actually even created a playlist on Spotify wow. called Rock the Eclipse. I know there's so much as so a viewing parties and again, the four day festival and the Museum of Play even has a theme all around light for three whole days. What are so some again, of the songs? every city. Um, that's a great question. I mean, obviously, Total Eclipse <laughs> of the Heart. Um, I would assume so. What are some I would other assume sun, so. There's a lot. What are some sun related songs? I don't know. Come on. All right. There's probably plenty that I can't even think of off the top of my head. But again, this, this whole state of New York is so full of excitement and parties and so much teachings and learnings mm -hmm. that I can't wait to learn about myself. So there's something for everybody in the family. I, I mean, the last time for us was 1925, so you can understand. Right? Yeah. yeah. Excitement. Absolutely. All right. Well, Jennifer, thank Absolutely. you so much for joining us today and sharing your suggestions. For more ideas, you can follow Jennifer on Instagram at the Jennifer Walsh.